Hey Maker users, my name's Sam, and today we're going to go over how to import signature files so that they're accessible when configuring security settings. Please note that this video covers the process of using signatures in McCormick Maker's Security by User ID security model. If you would like to learn how to use signatures in McCormick Maker's Security by Checkbook ID model instead, please view the first link in the description of this video. Starting with McCormick Maker builds 2013-405, 2015-105, 2015-125, in any subsequent build, signature images are now imported into SQL. This provides three benefits over storing them on the hard drive. One, they are encrypted. Two, they are backed up with your normal Dynamics GP SQL backups. Three, they remain accessible even when your network configuration changes. Before you can configure signatures in your McCorma Micker security setup, you need to add them to the signature library. To do this, first navigate to the Administration Area page through the pane at the bottom left of the window. Then, under Setup and Company, open McCorma Micker, and then Signature Library. Once inside the Signature Library window, if you find that the signature that you'd like to use is not present, then you'll have to import it. To import a signature, click Import. Then, simply navigate to the location in which the signature that you want to import is stored. Select it, and click Open. As you can see, that signature has now been imported into the signature library, and when you go on to configure your security settings, the signature that you just imported will now be available to use. You can import signature files as PNG, GIF, JPEG, BMP, or TIF file types this way. Note that if you are upgrading from a prior version of McCorma Micker, the upgrade process will access your prior setup and bring the signature images in for you. This will work as long as the user running the upgrade process has the authority to access the drive where the signature images are stored, and if it is connected at the time of the upgrade. And that's how you import signature files into McCormick Micker's signature library. The last thing I want to show you is where the signatures are accessed in McCormick Micker. This is important to know if you want to change the signatory. Now that you have imported your signatures, you can use them by referencing them in McCormick's security setup window. You can access McCormick's security setup window by first navigating to the administration area page through the pane at the bottom left of the window. Then, under Setup, find Company, open McCormick Micker, and then Security Setup. If you are using Security by User, you can configure a signature with each approver. To designate a signature to a specific user, select that user in the Security Setup window and open the User Signature Entry by clicking on the link text that says User ID. From this window, you can look up a signature that you've already imported into the signature library through the looking glass in the field titled Signature File. From here, choose the signature that you want to use, and click Select. In addition, you can set up default signatures if you don't want them to be tied in with any specific approver. To open the Default Signature window, click on Additional and then Default Signatures. From here, you can look up signatures that you have already imported into the signature library and use them as a default signature. You can set up two separate default signatures to be used alongside each other or to address separate situations. And that's how to use imported signatures when configuring security settings. For additional information about security by user ID and our secure approval workflow, please see the second link in the description of this video. For additional information about how to set special security logic by vendor class, please see the third link in the description of this video. For additional information on customizing the presentation of your signatures on check stubs, please see the fourth link in the description of this video. If you have any questions or need any assistance at all, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.